is defining who is expert. Would you listen to me? I am a vulnerable person. I came for your help, powerless, traumatized, with low self-esteem and low confidence. I take whatever you offer without complaint. How can I complain? You are helping me for free. I depend on you. Your services is a lifeline for me. If I tell you I need garlic, not the apple you're offering, would you think I have the mental capability to understand the difference between garlic and apple? Would you contemplate me making the decision about my needs and the support that you can give me to meet those needs? How would you consider my expertise not from a formal education, but from a lived experience? And that is make me an expert. Who is expert? Who has special knowledge on my need and the support that meet those need, if it is not me? Does it make me an expert? Does it matter how you call me? What should matter is you asking yourself this question. Are my services truly meet the needs of those people I'm supporting? How can I know about it? What should I do to design services to achieve the ultimate objective to meet the needs of those using my services? It doesn't mean your expertise is absolute. Okay, sorry. Element is here, okay? I'm going to try to confirm this. Let's look at this scenario to pen the picture. It is simple, but effective. You make a point. Between those two people, one who cooked an orange cake from a cooking book recipe, but has not eaten it, and the second person who has eaten the cake, who is the best to answer this question? How the cake tastes like? So, if you want to find out if the services you're providing is meeting the need of your client, service user, customer, whatever, is to ask directly those people who are using your services. There are people that are eating the cake. So the point is that those who use your services, who are only the one to tell you what you need to know, to improve the services so that the service meet the need. So, who is an expert depending on the question that you ask? And then you ask the question to find out who cooked the cake and what recipe they use to cook the cake. Or you ask the person who tested the cake to understand how the cake tastes. The choice is yours. Both are expert regarding the question that is being asked. If you disagree with my analysis or if you have any question regarding related to what I have said, use the comment box below and ask a question and let the debate you. I'm happy to discuss it. Thank you. God bless you.